other more important is alpha is greater than 1. That is the most important concept here. If we make a perfect square, dx by, we can write this as x plus alpha whole square, 1 minus alpha square. But alpha is greater than 1. It must be negative. So we can write this as dx by x plus alpha whole square minus times of alpha square minus 1. So a tick is in a form of dx by x square minus a square which is equal to 1 by 2a log of x minus x minus a by x plus a. The same form it took it plus c of course. So we write rewrite again in this integral dx by x plus alpha whole square minus alpha square minus 1 to the power 1 by 2 whole square. So it took a form of x square minus a square. So 1 by 2 under root of alpha square minus 1 log of x plus alpha minus under root of alpha square minus 1 divided by x plus alpha plus under root of alpha square minus 1 plus c. Same thing if alpha is less than 1 is given to you. So what if this happens? dx by x plus alpha whole square plus 1 minus alpha square. Then answer will be in tan inverse. 1 by under root of 1 minus alpha square tan inverse x plus alpha by under root of 1 minus alpha square whenever alpha is less than 1. That is the difference. So alpha is very very important condition here. In the previous case when alpha is greater than 1, answer is coming in terms of log. If alpha is less than